Bagging. It's so annoying when you browse for your trade offers, and those free item offers are filling all of the space. Every day I get quite a lot of these offers, but I don't care. I don't decline them. I don't even see them. That's funny, huh? Okay, I'm going to send myself a trade offer. I add two new users in the trade offer and I hit that sexy trade, trade button. I click OK, Steam opens my trade offer screen and as you can see the trade gets instantly declined. Now let's take a further look. So I went down to my history and I could see this guy just asking only a few unusuals for free. And because the trade is declined, he resent just another trade with a very nice message. Um, Axiat it now. Well, dear beggar, you better ask for a free keyboard first, or a language course, or anything like that. The situation is that he thinks I noticed the trade and declined the trade by myself. But that's not how it works. No, no. All I do is open my Steam chat and enter the famous commands back decline. And from now, they can send me these thousands of back offers, but I won't notice one of them. It's relaxing. I see only good trades. Ouch, ouch, not only good, but at least a lot better. So if you are struggling with these annoying trades, it's time to fix this. You have to set up a Steambot, which only takes a few minutes. Check out the link in the description. Download the file and extract it with WinRAR. Open the folder Steam Tools and open the program steamtools.exe. The Steam bot is written in Node.js. To run Node.js scripts on your computer you have to install Node.js. Open tab Install Node.js and download the latest version if you don't know what to choose. Run the installation and walk through it like I do. Once the installation is finished, install the node modules. Just wait until the black console disappears. Open login tab and enter your username. You can enable automatic login, so you don't have to enter your password every time when you start the bot. When using a login key, it's exactly the same as the remember me button when you log in to Steam. Open tab back offers and check the box. Open tab running in tab running you can change set options. Auto run a startup means when you start your PC the bot will start too. So you don't have to manually start the bots every time you start up the PC. Close bot on finish means that the bot will close when the script ends. This happens when the bot crashes or when you start the bot in a new session. Close bot after 5 minutes means that every time you start up the bot it will close after 5 minutes. You can adjust the time period. Click build and start, a black window which is the bot console opens. When you do this for the first time you have to enter your password and steam card code. The bot connects with steam. Now you can test the bot by sending a back offer to your account. The bot instantly declines the trade. When you want to deposit your items on a website, you want to ignore the back offers, because otherwise it will decline your deposal. Type back ignore in chat. Select the items to deposit on the site. Accept the trade offer from the site and after that type back decline in chat. Make a shortcut on your desktop to open the bot. Close the Steam Tools window. You won't need this anymore unless you want to change some of the options again. If you don't use the auto start function, you can open the bot by hitting the shortcut as hard as possible. Minimize the bot console and do whatever you like. The bot doesn't affect the performance of your personal computer. Good job! If you have any questions, ask them down below. A lot of people have been asking me to create a trade bot for them. 
If you want me to create a trade bot, let me know in the description. I don't have all the time to fully work on a trade bot at this moment, but I'll do my best and see what I can do. Stay tuned and subscribe.